just don't look good for the home team, family. Family. It don't. Why is this like this? This don't jack up. It don't look good for the home team. Hey, now you know you know it's bad when I don't. Man, we got Judith Naz in the building, brother. We need you in the building, bro. Were you busy tonight? Man, we got Judith and we got Judith Naz in the building, family. I'm checking out. Uh, I'm doing a testing, family. I, 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 now listen, family. Um, I ain't coming with no intro tonight, cause I'm feeling some type of way, man. Can y'all hear me? Check one, two. Can anybody hear me? Check one if you can hear me. And um, man, I'm going over the stuff for my show on Monday. I was gonna do the show. I don't know why this is so jacked up like that. I think that should lay down a little bit. But I I, I was gonna do the show tomorrow, but as I look at what I have, man, I had to pray again. <laughs> I had to pray again, man. <laughs> this is bad. Hey, man, this is bad, man. You remember the time when anybody been following this story, man? Do you remember when uh, uh, Sarnetta said, ain't nobody got no pictures? And she keeps saying, you got pictures of my, but she used the T word, you know what I mean? The boobies. No, but show my boobies, my boobies. Well, this is uh, this a little bit deeper than boobies. <laughs> And I'm nervous. I'm trembling. The greatest researcher on, on social media is nervous. <laughs> I need help. I need the prayer warriors come out and help me. <laughs> Can we get the prayer warriors in here? Family, I'm live on thehawkerbay.com. And I'm going to show a few things uh, that, that went on this past week but i'm nervous man. <laughs> this is bad man. it made me feel like i'm sinning <laughs> i'm sinning man. i'm committing sins <laughs> this stuff gotta stop man this has to happen judah how you put up with this so long man judah come on judah how you do this man now i know me you had some words one time ago about uh uh uh, uh, philosophies as it relates to religion, but man, how you, how you put up with this stuff, man? <laughs> how you put up this stuff, man? I don't get it. Help me out. <laughs> this is pretty bad, man. This is pretty bad, man. I don't know what to do, family. I want the sisters to help me out again. Why you got this up here? Hold up. Let me see something. Let me X this out real quick. Give me one second. Let me go on my page. I need to see this on and live in color, fam. What y'all want me to do? I need to know what y'all need me to do. That mean, what y'all, which, what I'm supposed to do? Dr. Queen, what I'm supposed to do, Dr. Queen? Dr. Queen, what I'm supposed to do? Do I keep going with this? <laughs> the realest, do I, what I do? Do I gotta keep going with this? Do I gotta put the nail in the coffin? This is bad. This is pretty bad. This is bad, man. This, is, this just don't look good. This just don't look good, man. Man, can somebody help me out, man? Anybody? Let me make sure that people can hear me on uh, on on my website real quick. Give me one second. Let me check the website real quick. <laughs> Crip say turn out. It just don't look good, Crip. Let me see. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It sounds good. Sound good. <laughs> It sounds good. So if you're on the website, uh, I might I might throw something at you in a minute. Um, but it just don't look good. Give me one second. This is bad, man. Crip say to bring on bringing the horns. I'm gonna bring the horns on the website. I'm nervous. <laughs> and I'm trembling. <laughs> Listen, man, what are we gonna do with side that man? What are we gonna do? You know what's amazing though, is that we don't have enough people to uh come and bring all of this yep the stream is now 4.99 uh and um what's going to happen though is 
uh, I'm taking the stream down and it's you're gonna have to go to the membership page the membership page I don't know I don't know if my, if, if my brother um cryptonomics or Sean Sean or May they got the membership page you have to go to the membership page now we're gonna lock we about to lock it down we about to lock it down let me see if I can find the membership page real quick uh it's gonna be worth it because this is not this is not the only rodeo let me see if I can pull up the membership page but it's this is not the only rodeo we got a whole bunch of stuff that we about to break down on talkabay.com like it's gonna be a lot of people mad when we get this when we get this thing wrong this is just the first story this is just the first story you feel what i'm saying this is just the first of many many stories that we are going to be covering that we're going to be covering this is just the first one this is the, this is what this is what it is all right this is what it is at the end of the day i've been creating this lane of if if you are if you out of pocket you know what I mean? You need to be dealt with. You know what I'm saying? If you're out of pocket, you need to be dealt with. Simple as that. Um, and you need to be dealt with in such a way you need to let the, the people need to know who you are. And so that those people, listen, some people come into what we call this conscious community looking for information to better themselves. And in the process of bettering themselves, the message becomes a hook to entrap people to be deceived. And so my thing is, why should that be the case? So if you make it at your lane to entrap people so you can deceive them and weasel something out of them, my lane is to say, watch out for this, watch out for that, watch out for this, watch out for that. Now, with Sinetta, he has gone so far, he has gone so far that it's not even a game no more that it's time to put sinetta out of his misery now what i'm telling you is that and i said it once and i say it again i don't believe that sinetta is going anywhere however let me show you something in in here let me show you something Let me show you. Somebody said something about somebody screaming and begging in the community. That's what I'm gonna show right here. If you want, if you want, if you on the website, this is what you get. This is what you get. I got a video playing right now on the website where Sonetta is just begging for money. That's all he's doing. Show me some love. He's just begging for money. I'm playing it right now. There you go. He playing it right now. Show me some love. Come on, show me some love. You feel me? Come on, hit the cash app. Show me some love. Come on, I will show you the whole Zion Lex video. Show me some love. <laughs> I'm playing it right now on the website. See, this is why I can't play it right here because they don't want you to hear the truth and they will strike me. You see what I'm saying? And so I'm gonna play it on my website. Let, let them go cry to YouTube about my website. <laughs> Did y'all, anybody on the website see it? Anybody on the website see it? <laughs> Press seven if you're on the website. <laughs> Show me some love. <laughs> strike that. <laughs> Strike that, you joker. Uh, uh, look at his face. <laughs> Go strike that. <laughs> Go bowling. Let me see you strike that. <laughs> check. You know, I said that and said, check. <laughs> Dumb issue. I used to have an uncle, right? I used to have an uncle that stutter. And every time he catch you doing something stupid and he'll bust you upside your head, bow. He said, the, 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 the dumb is you. The dumb is you, my Uncle Pete. <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Pete. 
Oh, man, man, man. But we're going to get the show started in a minute, family. Dumb issue. So over, if you over here on YouTube, you won't be able to see what's over here on TahakaBay.com. That's what I'm telling you right now. If you are over here on YouTube, you won't be able to see what's over here on TahakaBay.com. When I was young, I used to tease my uncle. My uncle Pete used to stutter. He stutters now. He's older now. He stuttered now. I used to tease him. He's like, shut, 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 shut up. Oh, 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 oh. Like, I used to tease him. Shut, 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 shut. He used to have them slippery earls. Anybody know about slippery earls? Slippery earls is the old shoes that you slip and slide when you try to run in. They old dress shoes. They ain't got, they ain't no Stacy Adams. They ain't, they ain't no uh, 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 whatever you want to wear. They ain't none of them slick things. They just call, we just call them slippery earls. Man, I used to tease my uncle. He'd get to chasing me. He was fast in them slippery earls, though. He would catch me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he would catch me. And when he catch me, he said, the dumb is you. He would drag me too. He was mean. <laughs> he was mean. Like he was one of them uncles that he'd touch you, that if he catch you, he gonna hit you like you a man. You'd be like 11 years old. Bam. <laughs> my, my uncle P hit me. And he'd be looking at you. The dumb is you. That's how I look inside none of them. The dumb is you. You kept playing with me, did you? <laughs> so, family, basically, I'm just touching up. I'm pretty much testing the airwaves to make sure that everything is functioning properly. All right? I'm making sure that everything is functioning properly. And so I'm looking online. I'm looking here. I'm looking there. So I'm testing everything to make sure that everything is functioning properly. Uh, one thing that I'm going to try to do is, if you work with me, I'm going to try my best to put my headphones in so I can hear. Hold on. Let me see if I can hear so I know how I'm moving. All right. Now, let me throw a video up in here real quick. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can throw this up in here real quick. Just this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold up. I mean that. I mean that. I mean that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, let me see something. I ain't mean that. I ain't mean that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. <laughs> if anybody on the website, I apologize. I didn't mean to do that. Hey, all, right. all right. Listen, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that at all. All right. So here we go. Let me see. Do I got an echo on the website? Let me see. I'm trying to check on the website. Give me a second. Yep, I got an echo. I can tell. All right, hold up. Let me check on. Let me let me get this echo out real quick. All right, let's let me see. I got ox, ox, ox. They up, they up in my house having a party right out here. Let me see. Bam. Let me see. I gotta make sure everything all right. All right, bam. Let me see if that do anything. All right. I can't get no feedback tomorrow. Tomorrow. I mean Monday. Monday. I can't get no feedback, family. Let me see. So y'all gonna work with me real quick. Yeah, there it go. I, I hear it. I hear it. Hold on. Check, check, check. It might be that. Let me cut that off. Mm. 
I'm gonna fix this tomorrow in the daytime. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. All right, let me cut everything else off. I think I got it now. Let's see what we got. I think I got it now. I'm gonna see it in a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got it now. Yeah, I got it now. Yeah, I got it now. Let me see. Oh yeah, we ain't got the echo now. All right, now let me try. Let me let me throw a video up in there for y'all. Let me throw. Let me throw. Let me throw. Let me throw a video up in there for y'all. All right. Let me see what I got for y'all. Give me one second. Hold up. Hold up. Let me throw something up in there for y'all real quick. All right, for all the for all the subscribers. So so yeah, it's, let me throw something in there for y'all real quick. Cause they thought it was a game. All right. I'm I'm getting it together. Y'all helping me. Y'all my friends. Y'all ain't got no choice but to help me. Now, okay, here we go. I'm starting. This is a part of the show. Putting this uh practicing. This is a part of the show. Watch this. Let's let's start right here. I'm I'm testing this. There we go. So, so look, check this out. At the end of the day, hold up. So look, hold on one second. Let me get this right. So look, at the end of the day, right, these people, right, Literally, these people literally was talking about this brother, Lex. She named a guy named Lex. And in this video that she tried to take down, she's talking about, now in this video, this is how treacherous they are. Y'all hear what I say? This is how treacherous they are. They supposedly get mad at Lex because of the video that Lex does and says that he's going to expose her for sharing her goods with everybody. And he says, I have pictures of your breasts. And basically what Lex is saying is what I'm saying is that you cannot be proselytizing in the name of the most high on one foot and on the next foot, you're spreading your pictures around the internet, provocative pictures around the internet to different brothers, uh, as well as different websites, because it's just a contradiction. So in response to that, in response to that, Sinetta and her ultimately gets this lady to come on and says that supposedly, allegedly, that the guy Lex Vortex gives her AIDS. However, now, what they say to me is that, oh, why are you going at the sister? The sister is not the object of this discussion. The object of the discussion is the hypocrisy and the double standard. 
Not only did they go after Lex and bring a sister, allegedly, to try to confirm this madness, they also talked about Lex Vortex mother, called her a crackhead. They talked about Lex Vortex father. But now, all of a sudden, now it's doxing. Now it's cyber rape. Now it's, you want to rape me. What? Moi? You see what I'm talking about? And it's so unfortunate that people are so disingenuous that they don't even see the double standard right between, right before their face. Because they haven't followed these hypocrites. They haven't followed these crazy people as they went on a rampage the last 12 months and beyond. That if anybody came at Sarnetta and disagreed with Sarnetta, they went on a rampage. They attacked families. They attacked children. They had, they had no discipline and they had no boundary. Now, all of a sudden, I'm here to illustrate and show you the hypocrisy. And we got some dope fiend, weed smoking, crackhead acting fool making videos. He got a small channel. Don't worry about him. Talking about this is revenge porn. And this crazy fool was the first one to disagree with a sister and put that sister image on his YouTube channel, when in fact, my disagreement is not with the sister per se, and not with Sinetta per se, my disagreement is with the hypocrisy. That's the difference. That's the difference. And me and Sinetta, from the start of our conversation, in 2015, 2016, has always been about fake news, in particular against the Moors, specifically against me. I'm going to say it again in my Umar Johnson repetitive talk style. In particular against the Moors, specifically against me. But now, but now the game didn't change. Now the game didn't change. And now huh, it's revenge porn. Huh, huh, what did the sister do to you? Huh, huh. Well, well, at the end of the day, family, I like what Capstone said. Let me put up there what Capstone say. You need to learn who these people work for. We already know Capstone. That's going to be the back end of the story after I throw it all under the bus. We're going to come back and that's going to be the back end of the story. You follow what I'm saying? That's going to be the back end of the story. But right, right now, we're on the front part of the story. We're on the front part of the story. But Capstone, you 1,000% correct. We're going, to, we're going to, brother, let me tell you something. Ain't no mercy for the devil on Morse World TV. And ain't definitely ain't no mercy for the devil on Tahakabay.com. Have you subscribed? Have you subscribed? Because I'm going to tell you, family, if you are on the Moorish World TV and you don't go to uh, um, uh, 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 to subscribe to um, Tahakabay.com, then, hey, <laughs> you will later. If you don't do it now, you will later. And you can trust me on that one. Because this thing is going to be cooking. <laughs> it's going to be cooking. Hold on one second. <laughs> it's like, it's going to be cooking. <laughs> hey, man, shout out to, shout out to last night. I went to, um, um. Last night, I went to see Bruce Bruce, man. Took, took the wife to see Bruce Bruce, man. He was funny as ever. Uh, but shout out to the young guys, man. Young guy walked up to me. You know what I mean? Tahaka Bay. He was so excited to see me. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. And I'm going to tell you, with all the hate that you see and all of the opposition that you see, that's nothing in comparison to the love 
that I get. I'm telling you, it's like, I mean, it's just a crowd of people. And like the other day I go to the grocery store, I see my brother B more. He probably in the chat tonight. Uh, man, I mean, there's no comparison, family. No comparison. Sister May say, follow her on tahakabay.com. That's another thing, tahakabay.com. You can also create your own. On the website, you can create your own. Um, you can create your own, like, social media on the website. See, no longer will we will allow these Europeans to control how we disseminate disseminate our information so if you are a member on talkabay.com you can create your own room you can create you can upload some of your own videos i mean it's it's so much so 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 much that we're going to be doing on there so family um but here on this friday let me screen share real quick hold on for me over there on talkabay.com here i ain't gonna charge you for every video but it's ten dollars a month for the exclusive all the content that is banned from, uh, that potentially can be banned from YouTube is right here. It's $10. I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to give you the best I got. And every twice a week, you will get some good stuff. But mostly, let me tell you something. In reality, this is about your support for more Royal TV. And I'm going to give you the best that I got. But I'm going to tell you what. If I was to do a presentation on, this is, this is not going to be good, right? If, if I was to do a presentation, say for instance, say for instance, I would do a presentation that Farrakhan had more than one wife, one wife, hypothetically speaking, hypothetical. Say I was to do a presentation where I say Farrakhan had more than one wife. Do you know how many people would strike my page if I came with some evidence? Say if I did a presentation about Farrakhan's son being married to a European. Now, I'm not saying it's true. It's a hypothetical. Do you know how many people would strike my page? Huh? Huh? Say I did a presentation that there's strong evidence that Stinky Inky is an agent on the uh, witness protection program. And there is no true history of him in the Bronx uh, as being a mover shaker and one of the well-knowns there. And I came with facts. You know, people gonna strike my page. Hmm? Say, say, say if I uploaded or even did a live stream with the evidence and showing, and showing, without a doubt or contradiction, that not only of these people are agents, starting from all the way back when the first agent came, I mean, the first guy came to Sinetta, one of the first presentations of live style was Ali Muhammad. who clearly, clearly was a swindler, clearly was a scammer and continues to be. Too polite. All the way up to Nepal. What if I was to be able to bring you some research to show you that there's a common thread of these people? Not only are they scamming, but they pro they possibly plants in our community, digital community, and Sinetta is the gateway. What if I what what, what if I they gonna strike my page? They're going to try to take down the YouTube channel. Therefore, I'm going to bring all of that information with research to you. I'm going to still be on YouTube. I'm going to still be on YouTube, but I'm going to bring you all that information and more with the screen shares and the exclusives 
and the exclusive on tahawkabay.com. So on YouTube, I'm going to be talking to you. But if you on tahawkabay.com, I'll give, I'm going to show you stuff like this that that been passed around the internet. I'm going to show you stuff like that. I show you stuff like that. Not because I'm trying to dox a sister, but this is what the sisters send to people. This is what the sisters send to people to try to entice them, disarm them, because there's a possible agenda to dismantle any potential of awakening of people. If you was on the website right now, then you got an eye full. Press seven. <laughs> Press seven. See, when you have someone that passes pictures around like that and videos around like that, around the internet, posting them on the internet, they're trying to bait somebody. They're trying to bait somebody. These pictures wasn't sent to one person. These pictures is on the internet. They are on the internet. She's trying to bait somebody. And what I think happened is, I think she tried to get her way up and to bait Sinetta, and then she found out that Sinetta and her was on the same team, working for the same people. They're not in a relationship for real. And we're going to get into that probably next week. They're not in a relationship for real. They are on the same team. Sinetta has been the doorkeeper. Sinetta has been the doorkeeper for those to come in, to swindle, to scam, and to keep confusion stirred up. Y'all might don't believe it, but the track record. See, one thing different between what I'm talking about and what other people are talking about, there is a track record. There is a historical track record of 10, 5, even 2 years. You feel me? Sinetta is the doorkeeper to those who come in to cause confusion. And when I do this presentation and I show and prove that every group that this lady had been a part of, she did two things. She sent some nasty pictures in the group to be circulated. And she caused problems and had men almost beefing with each other in every circle, bar none. Now, the question is now, the question is now is, the question is now is, where did she come from? Where did she come from? That's the question. Where did she come from? Who sent her? She came from somewhere. She came from somewhere. And wherever she came from, she brought confusion with her. This is the type of thing. One second. Look at this. That's what she bring to the table. I mean, to put that out right there. I don't want to bring too much here because, I mean, where did she come from? Let me show you something real quick. And I'm going to bring all this out later. There is nothing about this sister that anybody can say has good intentions. This is, she get the beefing with this sister, Sister Noble, and she think this is, she think this is witty. That might look like me. <laughs> look, look at y'all see that picture up there on talkabay.com. That's she got that looking like Sister No. That look more like me a little. Look at the eyes. <laughs> I mean, but they think that's witty.
They think that's witty. And these are the people that are supposed to be uplifting. Look, when they uplift, let me show you what they do when they uplift. What these, what these agents do. I mean, what these people do. Watch it. Give me one second. Oh, man. Give me one second. Watch it. This is what they do. Listen to this. This dude is crazy. My bad, my bad. I'm going to adjust all the vibe later. But you hear how she so fluently talks about women. And she says, black bees are mad. Like she fluently calls sisters black bees as if she is not of the same origin. And, and whenever you hear her talk, you will always notice that she always talk about sisters as if it's them and then her. Anybody ever notice that? Anybody ever notice that? That she always talks about sisters as if it's them and then her. So I was looking at, I was looking at a few things, right? I was like, man, this sister is tripping. And then people was like, man, don't call her no sister, don't call her no sister. But whatever the case may be, I was like, hold up. I wonder who this is right here. In this picture right here, where she's taking this selfie, in that background right there, this old European lady looked like it back there, right? I mean, I'm like, man, is, is, is she mixed or something? Is she really sided with, you know, her European side? Because she always talk as if she's in a third person like like it's you didn't me like you black bees are different you know what i mean you black bees are mad you black bees is this and black bees is that black bees and this and that I'm like what in the world and what's amazing to me is all of the information that is easy to be found about hold on one second what's amazing to me is that all of the information that's easy to be found on her talking about Hebrews and black bees and N words and this and that, but you can't find any information on her about her model career. Anybody ever knows that? Mama, she said she was a model. She was a model for a year and a half. If she let her head down, it was, I mean, anybody remember that? She got like weird names that don't even add up. We're going to get into that later. We're going to get into that later. And you know what's also strange? Somebody said she's a, she's, she said she's Dominican. Sinetta, supposed to be Dominican. Inky. Supposed to be Haitian, polite, potentially Nigerian. All of these people are imported or were here and can be used as pawns to keep confusion amongst our people. Anybody notice that? Do y'all think that's, that, that don't seem odd to you? Y'all don't y'all don't think that's odd? Sanetta is Dominican. She's married to a Mexican and is said to be Dominican. Inky is Haitian. And Rodney Price said YP is from another planet. That's right. Somebody said, didn't sign surrender. We don't accept surrenders. 
Only thing we accept is food stamps, EBT, roses to my mother and to my wife. And um, that's it. We, we accept roses of apologies. We accept you to turn yourself around and live your life right. And we accept um, we accept EBT. Yeah. We got the Prophet Noble Drali birthday coming up in January the 8th. We're going to need some groceries for EBT. <laughs> so, so you hear what I'm saying? So it's, 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 see, this is the problem. When I say these things, when I say these things, people think I'm just having a YouTube show. I'm not just having a YouTube show. I'm not just having a YouTube show. I'm telling, I'm sharing something with you that potentially could keep somebody out of danger because you already know, you already know. All you need to do is share the information. You already know. And another thing you need to do is begin to research and investigate people. Investigate me. You know, let me, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Investigate me. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to share this with you. I ain't going to let them get away with it. Investigate me. Watch it. I'm trying to find the video where in that she says, I beat my wife. If this is it, let me see. This might be it. Y'all see that? So she says that I have Asperger, I have Asperger, I have a defect, and I beat my wife and punches walls. Not in that video. She said the volume is low. I'm trying to work on the volume, but I might have to do that next show. I turned the volume up on some of those things, but let me see some. Um, so she says that I have a defect. You follow me? And not only do I have a defect, but it's another video where she says, I beat my wife and I punch his walls. I have ash burgers. <laughs> I said, I ain't never eat no ash burgers. You know what? I did eat some ash burgers. When I was young, my cousin Mookie was on the grill. He dropped the burger in the grill, got ashes on it, and I ate some ash burgers. I ate some ash burgers. I sure did. My cousin Mookie, he was on the grill, but he poured some bottled water on it and got the ashes off it. So I did have some ash burgers. <laughs> yeah, I had some ash burgers. You dug all right. I'm going to call my cousin Mookie and say, man, why you had to go and tell people I had some ash burgers? Shoot. <laughs> These people crazy, I'm trying to tell you. They're good and crazy. They're good and crazy. Let me show y'all one more thing, fam. Let me show you something that you're going to be seeing coming. Um, let me see if I can drop something on you real quick. This, this watch this. This is what she said. This is what she said. This, this volume might be good. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to mess with the volume later. Don't worry about it. Let me see. There you go. So she says that she says that I want to have sex with her and Cynthia. <laughs> Let me see that. And Cynthia. Y'all hear that? This woman is crazy. She's a, she says, I want to be, he wants to be Sinetter. And you know what? She might be right. 
I want to be Sinetter, not Sinetta. <laughs> she said he wants to have sex with me and Cynthia, and he wants to be Sinetter. I was like, man, maybe I do want to be Sinetter, but I don't want to be Sinetta. <laughs> I don't think nobody will be Sinetta today. Not with the Arca Bay is on your heels. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think nobody. I mean, I don't think nobody will be Sinetta today. Let's see if we can get my brother up here, man. I wonder if Judah's still in the building. Now, I'm going to have to turn them up so y'all can hear them in the, um, what's the name? Let me see if I can get Judah Naz in the building. Anybody, everybody don't hit this Judah Naz. Let's see if we get Judah Naz in the building real quick. Judah, you in the building? Let's see if we can get Judah Naz up in here. That's right. What Jesus Price talking about today? What Jesus Price? What's wrong with Jesus Price? I wonder what's going on with Jesus Price. Jesus Price got some problems today. Jesus Price ain't got no problem. Jesus Price, stop acting like that. You know what I mean? I like this video somebody put out here on there. Check this out. Watch this. Family, I got a video I'm about to play right now. Uh, this is somebody put up. I mean, people put their work. Watch this. People put their work. Watch this. There you go. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> this fool said, I could kill y'all. <laughs> I could kill y'all. But I'm going to let you live. <laughs> this fool. <laughs> man, man, man. Oh, my goodness, man. This is crazy. I mean, this is crazy. Memphis Knight Rider said Noble Drew Ali was a homosexual slave owner. Good goodness of gracious. Y'all see that? I'm going to let that one. <laughs> it's a guy that put, he got blocked right now. He said Noble Drew Ali was a homosexual slave owner. Good goodness of gracious. <laughs> For real? Hey, bring the receipts. What side that told the Paul? <laughs> Source up, B. <laughs> Somebody put it there. Somebody put it there that uh, Noble Drew Ali was a homosexual slave owner. Side, what side that when you need him? Source up. Source up. <laughs> <laughs> y'all can hear me good goodness and gracious we about to drop some bombs up in here press up if y'all can hear me i see people getting black all over the place what happened <laughs> so i know they say sauce up <laughs> somebody said prophet noble drew ali a homosexual slave owner how you come up with that sauce up or oh, stfu <laughs> Listen, I'm just the host of Morris World TV, uh, TahakaBay.com. I don't take this personal. There's nothing you can say to me to make me take it personal. I am here just to give you critical information so you can avoid the pitfalls and the traps that is laid before you. There's nothing. I know you are sick people. I know that you will say anything, but there's nothing you can say to me to rattle my chain. Listen. Any mistakes that I ever made, I will be mad enough and say it's a mistake. And you would never be able to. I could make this mistake tomorrow. And it could be of, uh-oh, somebody said, check my nose. 
Yeah, I got a bad, I got a bad nose problem, man. Cause my somebody bust me in my nose years ago. Let me make sure I'm good. I'm gonna go old school. Let me see. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, family. <laughs> look, let me tell you what happened. You know, I always got a story, right? So look, back in the day, right? <laughs> Back in the day, right, I was a fighting fool. I'm telling you, I could throw them hands like, like Muhammad Ali. I was a fighting fool. So every time somebody ran away, whether it was in the hood or close to the hood, I had to, I had to take two on one all the time. You know what I'm saying? I always had to take two on one. I was known to throw them hands, real nice with them hands. You feel what I'm saying? Thank you, thank you, Nuge. I was real nice to man. So I always had to get like two on one. You know what I'm saying? Every single time, man, I never had to take a L with a one on one. I'm talking about big guys, little guys, whatever. I never had to take a L. I mean, I don't want to do no fight now and I ain't got no time for that. So the one time I took a L, it was two guys one named Ip, one named Tay Tay. Yeah. Ip and Tay Tay ran down on me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Ip and Tay Tay <laughs> caught me coming out that 7 Eleven <laughs> and put that little Louisville slugger back across my face. Babba. I tried to dip. <laughs> And work my move, but that little, little that little anybody know them bats they used to give away at the at the uh, baseball uh, demonstration. <laughs> anybody remember them the little Louisville Sluggers? Anybody remember? Well, let me tell you, them things are just as hard as the big ones. <laughs> I was, hey. If you from the DMV, I was coming from a go-go. I never forget it. And we had been arguing earlier that day. Man, it and Tay Tay ran up on me, man, coming out that 7-Eleven, trying to get me some honey glazed donuts after the go-go. <laughs> they put that there was one of them trying to get me from the back. I dip. But but listen. Listen, I'm going to let Judah in the building. We got Judah in the building, but give me one second. So listen, I come out. Now, I'm in the 7-Eleven. I know I got to come out that demonstration, and I see him. Now, I ain't that type to do no running. I ain't no runner. I don't, I don't run too good. You know what I'm saying? They already said I got short arms. Most people that can run got long arms. I got short arms. You know they say that all the time. You feel what I'm saying? Man, so the first thing I'm thinking is which one I'm going to grab. I can box a little bit, but it's better to fight than try to box somebody when it's two up. So which one I'm going to grab? It was short and was kind of my height. Tay Tay was tall. So the best thing I could do is take the short and stocky one. It. So when I came out the door, one was here, one was there. I immediately knew what time it was and walked out there to try to play like I ain't know what's happening and hoping that I can just get out just a little bit. It was a no-go. <laughs> I got halfway. It grabbed me. Tay Tay grabbed me in the elf. I dipped a little bit, something like that. I tried to dip. And if Bam! When I dip, you dip, you dip. <laughs> and so the whole point is, he hit that bridge of that nose. You know what I mean? Man, he put that bat up on my lip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. And man, oh man. Woo! That bat was something serious. <laughs> and so ever since, I've always had problems with my my, my my nostrils, man. You know I mean, somebody even say, "Oh man, he's a crackhead. He, he's sniffing drugs." Man, what are you talking about? But we got Judah Navs in the building, man. Um, so family, if you are on 
I'm going to take a, I'm going to take at least 30 minutes and talk to my brother Judah. And um, um, let me tell you something. You have to be able to take some L's in order to get some W's. That's just what it is. If you ain't take no L's, you ain't get no W's. Period. Point blank. And that's in the debate thing. That's in life. That's with everything. Like somebody was on it. What's name? Like you got a criminal record. I was like, yeah. That sucks. Moi, <laughs> it do. It never hindered me. It only hindered me when I was a fool in my early 20s. But when I became wiser, it was a capitalizing thing because I learned from my ignorance and my foolishness. So the only thing that somebody can say to me is when I was dumb, ignorant, and was a fool. But you can't tell me that I am doing these things or that doing the thing that I'm accused of in the state of consciousness. And when we're talking about Sanetta, Inky, and in this sense, Nepal, these people are portraying themselves as conscious. That's the problem. Whenever I was accused of something, I was not portraying myself as a teacher of consciousness. That's the problem. I'm mute your mic, Judah. What's up, brother? Yeah, so that's the problem. Oh, shalom, shalom, uh, talk about it. Hold on one second. Turn this mic on, hold on. You swamp to the whole chat out there. It's your brother, Judy Nazareth. Hold we, up, hold we, we bring a skinny tight shirts back in 2022. You swamp to the whole chat out there. Okay, I got you now. There you go. It's your brother, Judy Nazareth. We, we, we bring a skinny tight shirts back in 2022. You swamp to the whole chat out there. Hold up one second. Now, there you go. But if you got an echo too. One second, one second, one second. I don't know why. But if you got an echo too. Oh, I know what's going on. I don't know why. Hold up. Let me let me get let me get this. Let me get this uh let me get this uh, 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 Bluetooth hooked up over here because I definitely can't hear you. Hold up, family. All right, say something. Mic check, mic check. You still sound mu muted. Hey, uh, my I mic is trying. But I can't hear you. Hold on. I got to get that the people hear you on the, on the demonstration. Oh, I see what it is. Hold one second. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. I need the wire. Hold on, family. Y'all don't want to miss this. I'm trying to hook it up so everybody can hear it. Hold tight. Hold tight. Man, where did I put that wire? Well, you know what? We're going to do it like this. All right, we're going to do it like this. All right, we're going to flip it. Give me one second, fam. We'll have to do it differently. But I need to hear from here real quick. All right, let me see if I can get it like this. All right. I wasn't prepared for the brother to come on, so I ain't got them speakers hooked up. All right, say something now. Mic check, mic check. There we go. I got you now. I wasn't prepared for him to come on, but he in the building. Um... With that being said, family, you may not be able to. I'm trying to get it so you can hear. So maybe I have to find. Hmm. Where my cord at? Because I wanna, I wanna get you to hear on. Y'all bear with me real quick. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. I want everybody to hear on the website. And in order for that to happen, I gotta get the speakers on. So. Let me find this wire real quick. What the world? Oh, oh I know where I'm going to find it. One second, family. Stand busy. Stand busy. What do with all them wires? Man, 
I didn't mess myself up now. I got the man of the hour in the building. I can't find my hookup. I'm gonna find it in a second though. Let me watch this. I got the man of the hour and I can't even hear. All right, so this we're going to do. So family, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like this because cause it's important. I got my test thing going on. Everything is good over here on... um. Everything is good on the website. So I'm going to exit out the website. And then I'm going to just work with uh, on YouTube. Um, but before I go out the website, let me just show you all this real quick. This is what one of the things that we are going to be looking at. Um, I want to give you all something real quick. We got a bunch of these coming up in one second. Let me see. We got a bunch of these coming up in a second. Oh, is that it? Just to let y'all know. That's right. I'm trying to get you to come over there to subscribe so I can give you this good information. But in the meantime, in between time. Talk, give me one second, please. One second, one second. All right. But in the meantime, in between time, I want to share something with you. If I can find it real quick. Where is that? Matter of fact, yeah, I just do it like this. I ain't want to do it like that, though, man. I ain't supposed to do it like that. Yeah? I had a whole plan for this. Mm, mm, mm. I had a whole plan. All right, give me one second. There it is. Save as. Oh, man, that's what it is. That don't look crazy. Hold up. I got to blur that a little bit more. How would it? How would it? All right, here we are. I'm going to show you what I want to show you in a minute. This I wanted to show you. <laughs> I want to show you. Oh, my goodness. Now, that ain't good enough either. Hold up. All right, Judah back. But family, so coming this um this Sunday, I was gonna show a little bit more, but I wanna I wanna get some, I wanna get a few words in with my brother Judah real quick. But this is the type of pictures that she has sent out. And uh I'm gonna be sure to uh make sure y'all know that this stuff cannot be tolerated from a sister who claimed it to be teaching other sisters to be Israelites, uh, Torah subscribers, um, and uh, one who is associated with one who is always trying to tear down other people's ways of life um, as it relates to their religious persuasion, and simply just want to tear down all sorts of communities as it relates to those that are subscribed to by our people. And I always say, uh, I'll exit out this right now, and then I'll go over the stream, y'all. Uh, I always say that it's okay to disagree, but it's never okay to be disrespectful, and it's never okay to be malicious. You know what I'm saying? When one get disrespectful, then other gonna get disrespectful. It's okay to disagree, but it's never okay to be malicious. It's never okay to be disrespectful, because the moment that you get malicious, you can't say I give up, I, 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 I quit, I'm sorry, stop. No, game over. It's time to go to war, and that's just what it is. So thank you on uh, TaakaBay.com. I will be live tomorrow with a few more samples for you um, tomorrow night, and I have some more slides. Um, I wanted to show you some more, but I really want to get it in with uh, my brother Judah. He on a different time zone, and it might be tired. I don't know what time it is over there, so we got to get it while he's here. It is what it is. So peace and love, family. With that being said, I'm going to exit this out here. Bam. Hold on one second. Let me make sure. All right. That's out. I'm out of here. So, family, it's about to turn up now. It's about to turn up now because I'm the, I'm the great interviewer. 
and 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 Judah, he got the great goods. He gonna give you something that you ain't heard, that I ain't heard. I'm pretty sure. So give me one second. Let me get up and stream y'all real quick. Bam. All right. Check, check, check. Can you hear me? All right. Can everybody out there hear me? You, you sound more clear now than before. Yeah, yeah. I was on another, I was on, I was going through another um another system because uh that's the system where they can't they can't mess with. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. Now listen, let's get straight to it. Hey Judy, what time is it there? It is uh 2 17 in the afternoon. Oh man, this is good time. So, so I got me a little bit uh I got me a little bit time on my hand, at least 45 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Uh or more. Uh, as long as the wife don't call me, because she said, you're going to go three days in a row. I said, yeah, we got to get the, we got to knock the brains out of this falsehood. Now, Judah, what, what I, um, what I come to understand is, is that you are basically the authority on, uh, Nepal's entry into this community. And when I say this community, I'm saying all inclusive. It's not Moors, it's not Hebrew, it's just our community where we disseminate information that they like to call the conscious community. Now, brother, can you help us to understand her entry point? Where does she come from? You know, honestly, listening to the stream, I learned some things about her that I didn't know. So, <laughs> and you raised some questions that I need to ask, sit back and ask myself. Me and my wife's in there thinking, like, good question. So, I met her on SVDL with Brother Solar Mind in the debate league over there, and uh, she was on me immediately about me and another sister were involved, and uh, she was asking us personal questions, asking me personal questions, or whatever. But where she came from, I had no clue. Oh, actually, that's not true. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The story that she said was that she was a kind of like a secret member of Great Millstone. If you help us, what is that? Oh, it's an Israelite camp, uh, Great Millstone with Tahar and a Ryan Mob. Um, okay. One of the one West camps. Okay, I got so you. She, so, she so, like so for those of you that don't know on Morse World TV, that's a, a Hebrew camp um, with One West, which is, uh, if y'all not familiar with it, you got different camps in the Hebrew nation. Um, and so she was a secret member, you say? Yes. So, so, and I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to gossip. I'm just telling it like, like I know it. Bro, I'm uh, <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, just say, you know, some people know, uh, she was under a, uh, account called Phineas the Zealot. So she was kind of pretending to kind of be a guy and she would never really show herself. So, but then she began to reveal herself. And I guess, you know, she knows various brothers, you know, and other Israelites, you know, from various camps. She's been to their Passovers and things like that meeting. So, um, so apparently, you know, there's, there's something a brother brought, was it you? It was either you or somebody else, but someone brought out that the pictures may have come from, or was it Lex? It might've been Lex Vortex. And I heard it and I didn't say anything. I, I wasn't trying to keep it a secret. I was just like, I wasn't, you know, you know, I was just like, oh, this 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 is kind of putting, you know, the puzzles kind of fitting together. So the story goes that that uh, somebody from Great Millstone had leaked these pictures of her. We were under the the what's which what's what he uh we were under the thought that this came from Solar Mind because she said that's the only man that she was dealing with. However, when other brothers from FOPE said that basically she had got it from Great Millstone, I didn't say anything at the time. This is my first time saying it ever publicly. Oh, that's not true. I said it on my channel. Yeah. <laughs> she was messing with two dudes in Great Millstone. One dude's from England. We call him the English Muffin. And there's another brother either from Great Millstone, Dallas, or Great Millstone, Houston. So one of them brothers allegedly, or I'm assuming, 
put the pictures out because Lex Vortex said it wasn't uh, uh, Brother Solomon. So this is all very, very interesting. This is all you, I, you. And, I, and I'll tell you this. Um, when Solomon was on my show and we did the first interview, if you caught it, the first interview, I leaked a, 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 a photo that I found. Nobody gave me anything. I've researched and find stuff. And um, Solomon was like, whoa, I don't think nobody's seen that one. As implying that there is there is stuff floating around. You know what I mean? And now, now, now I did the interview with I did the interview with Solomon, but when he said that, he was like, I don't think nobody's seen that one. And so there is a bunch of stuff floating around and she's trying to act like it's a, a Solomon or something. No, she has stuff floating around. I'm finding this out too. I just told my wife, my wife came in from shopping. I was like, all right, like, do, do you know that, that Nepal has more pictures just floating around? And my wife is like, what? Because we were under the, the you know, she told us it was, she was just dealing with Solomon and that nobody knows her and Never couldn't find out, or, or how about the pictures on my video where she's twitching, uh, twerking, twerking. <laughs> twitching. <laughs> Someone called it twitching because it was. <laughs> well, I, somebody dropped those in my Facebook pictures that that apparently, and then Sam Netter called me two days ago. I, I didn't, I didn't see it, but I, I saw it. it. Said Frank Gary, Frankie Gary called you, so he called me two days ago. This had to have been. When that uh, the the European dude, the the white dude, came on my panel, this had to have been around that time. So, I'm thinking, perhaps, and I know people listen. You had brother unseen soldier, you know. Uh, shout out to my brother unseen. I'm famous for being very naive. It's not naivety; it's kind heartedness. Right. I'm believing in myself. I know everyone's probably like, "Oh, here's you to go again." I believe that some letter to an extent is a victim to an extent. I, I believe that he thought that he was, he found this pearl that, you know, cause remember his, his famous quote is, I got the baddest girl in the game wearing my chain. chain. But the problem is Beyonce don't have her goods on Kim Kardashian does. So I believe that some letter is finding this out. This is just like when you're bringing out this, all this, I'm like, what does more pictures? So I believe the sun that is finding out stuff just like we, the rest of us are. To, to a degree, to a degree, I agree with you. To a, to a large degree, I agree with you. Because I remember Sinetta saying, don't nobody got pictures of my wife. And then it shift, and then it shift to, oh, only one that might have one is Solomon. And then it shift to, motherfucker, because it dawned on him that the internet knows more about her than he does. But the problem is, Sinetta will not bow out. He's still trying to ride with it. And I believe, or, or I, have, I have an idea in theory, that if she is here to cause confusion, Sinetta is the master of causing confusion that her cover has been blown and either they're going to team up and run with this fake relationship to keep confusion going or they're going to part ways because her cover is blown. But I will tell you this, she shows no sign of an authentic Hebrew Israelite woman. I do have to agree with you on that. Um, she, she, especially for our side, we are Torah, Torah based, Torah prophet based, not Nepal. Nepal is, uh, uh, what do you call it? New Testament based. So this whole, she's going to teach Torah thing is folly because Torah Knights, our group, we're the really the only Israelite community that's Torah centered, like as a community. And she don't know the language. She don't know "quote unquote" Hebrew. She don't know Arabic. She don't know. She don't know Aramaic. She don't know how she can't. There's certain nuances and things where you're teaching the Torah at a 
quote unquote esoteric level that you have to be acquainted with. And she don't know none of that. She she's involved in well, she's not a witch. I don't agree with witchcraft, but let's not insult the witches out there. She's not a witch. That mind telekinesis trying to move tissue, that's just some folly. But um I do agree with you because if you if there was a live stream the pot had and Sonetta was joined with her on the panel. And, I, and the pot drinks wine. And when she starts drinking wine, she starts getting really <laughs> mouthy. She her self control, well, she she has no self control, but it, it, it gets even worse. So Sonetta's talking, she's cutting them off. He's cutting her off. They're, and if you look at Son Metter, he's just playing with his phone. And the pa's getting annoyed. And then Son Metter puts the phone up to the camera, and it's his wife. And he starts showing all these pictures of him and his, you know, his, his actual wife while the pa's talking. So I'm sitting there looking like, wait a minute. I start thinking, like, wait a minute, like Son Metter's kind of catching on to what's going on up in here that this ain't Beyonce. This is Kim Kardashian. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. I'm not dis- dis- I'm not disrespecting that man's wife at all in no shape, form, or fashion. I know he's watching. They always watch. For, for those who don't know, Nepa is a sociopath. If you look up the definition of sociopath, they're narcissistic. This is where the, you're jealous of me. This is where that comes from. They don't show sympathy, and they don't have empathy. If you notice, again, there was a sister that has a, a substance abuse issue that allegedly something some got violated by someone from the HOK sector and the pa instead of being a quote unquote, a quote unquote woman's advocate as she claims to be begin to drag the sister yeah oh that be that be I'm gonna drag her I'm gonna expose this be blah, blah. and I'm like what? what this is crazy she, she mentioned she mentioned her name the other day in a fit rage uh and said yeah she dropped the name the other day. I already, you know, I mean, once you've been around, you didn't heard all the stories and you, you know, but he, she dropped the name the other day. I was like, this is crazy. And that's this thing had nothing to do with this. Nothing to do with this. And this is what I'm trying to tell people. People are, people are saying that, uh, uh, well, why are they coming at Nepal? Why are they coming at Nepal? People must don't know the history behind Nepal and all the confusion and carnage that follow her everywhere she go. People must don't know. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, bro. When she was, did she ever try to, did you and her ever have any conversations of possibly coming together as an item? All right. You know I'm going to ask you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already know. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie. We were never involved like that, but we would flirt with each other and she would talk about coming to Japan and, you know, her kids wanted to come to Japan and things like that. And and we, we would talk every day for hours and my wife would be there listening. So my wife can verify like, yeah, Gita and the pop used to talk for hours, you know, like, you know, we have the camera, you know, we used to talk, you know, but it wasn't, we, we never got, you know, it wasn't like, a, well, this is my girlfriend or my wife. It, wasn't, it never got to that point. So, but yeah, so it's flirting. Yeah, but it never got past that. But, and then now, now. Why is it why is it that it is said why is it is said that um you know that she not only flirted with you but with other guys like if she, if this she was kind of fishing to see who she can catch like throwing her line out you know what I'm saying it it is true about the you know for, it went from so bear in mind soul mind is not the first two GMS dudes are first that we know of soul mind was the third that we know of her and I were flirty with each other. She came immediately over to Tour Nights right after. Then I was in Lions Den debate league with JJ7000. Then she began to talk to JJ. Now this is unbeknownst to me because a sister, I don't know if her name was, you know, she was on my panel. You don't talk about. Mm-hmm. She, she was like, Judah, get your woman. Uh, or, you know, no, no, no. She would be like, uh, JJ can have her. And I'm like, have her? What are, what are you talking about? Like, you know, that's, that's your dude. She's like, no, nah, uh, she talking to JJ. So I'm like, word? Like, you know, I'm this is new to me. And so the brother JJ said that she was calling, kept kept blowing his phone up or whatever. And then I know you saw that. I know, you, and I ain't trying to 
when JJ went in? in? Well, something happened. JJ had, uh, uh, he's a female companion that was on my panel the other day, Sister Carla. And if you remember that one time with, with Son Netter, when she exposed Son Netter, she put the phone up and Son Netter told her, you're a beautiful sister. JJ's the dumbest Hebrew in the world. Why don't you drop him and come with me? Now, she's very humble, sister. So she, she's like, oh, you know, you know, you know, chill out. But that's what happened, and we all saw it. So, you know, I, 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 allegedly, Nepal was flirting with JJ, calling his phone. Uh, uh, his woman was telling, yo, he, I think he tried to, like, block the phone or get another phone, and she called another number. And then her and I, she was, she was like, yeah, I'm about to go to HOK. She was still in SVDO at this point. I'm about to try to get on uh, HOK through JJ. I was there the whole time. So she spins this narrative of Judah's mad at me because I went to HOK. I said, don't go over there and sell your soul, so to speak. Like what she's doing now, right. that's what I told her not to do. Mm. And I told her, and I literally had like a, I don't know if it's a dream or a vision. What is going on? I knew, I, I, I saw it and I told her and she got offended, blocked me. And now I'm jealous and this, that, and the other. And and this is the result of selling out. You know, I, you know, I kind of get spooky. You know what I mean? When I you, feel you. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I mean, yeah. the proof is what we see, though. The proof is what we see. Now, when she, do you think, do you think that she plotted to go with HOK from the beginning? Because it seemed like she she worked her way up. Because when you look at, uh, uh, I think it's GMS, right? They they're not as. Let me see. They're not on the forefront like I see you. They they they're, they're still powerful. Don't take nothing from them. But for when we look at social media and we look at outspoken Hebrews, you would think of yourself, Zion Lex, uh, Judah. I mean, a uh, 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 seven thousand uh, names like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, AOC and I mean, it's certain other names too, but it seemed like she worked her way up until she got to what she thought was the apex of what this conscious community is supposed to be. And now let's get busy. But the problem is, I think she came at the wrong one. When her and Sinetta started talking crazy, you know, because first thing she said about me was that, you know, he's married uh, to a woman that's married. And, <laughs> and she's chiming in with Sinetta and I'm looking at her like, that's what you do? That's what you do? And when Sinetta attacked, she was attacking too. You know what I'm saying? So my thing was, man, these people are hypocrites. These people are hypocrites. So the objective is to expose the hypocrite. Forget the pictures. The pictures only represent the hypocrisy. That's all they represent. And so, you know, I, I, I remember when you said, well, you know, I don't know if I would have showed the pictures. And you know what, Judah? I feel the same way. Like, dag, is this the right thing to do? Is this the right thing to do? But because you've been around as long as I've been around, dealing with this fake community orchestrated by Sanetta, we got to go to the extreme now to dismantle it. Because if we don't, then those who seeking to learn from you, if they want to choose the Hebrew Israelite path, they want to choose the Moorish path, we're going to always have this confusion creator, Sanetta, and he's going to open the door for ever confusion creators to, to dismantle what we try to dismantle what we try to put down. And me and you can disagree every step of the way, but that, that, that shouldn't change our intentions and our heartfelt sincerity into what we believe in. And we shouldn't have to tolerate this guy over here. Keep on opening the door to cause confusion when he don't even have a horse in a race. He don't believe in nothing. <laughs> you, you hit on something very, very pertinent. Maybe like 30 minutes ago, maybe a little bit more. You hit on something very pertinent. I was in the chat listening. 
Do you remember the Kemet on trial? You know I brought this up before. But people don't see the, the significance and the importance of this. If you remember, and listen, I'm not a racist. I have white people in my family. I got Filipinos in my family. I'm, I'm not a racist. I, I don't kiss the white man's behind. I don't worship white people. I don't, you know, whatever, right? If everyone knows it about me, I speak my mind. I'm not a racist. But if y'all remember Kim and on trial, where a lot of the Israelites got shafted, and did you notice that after the Kim and on trial, a lot of the Israelites stopped going over onto HOK? Brother Polite, as soon as the debate thing was over, he immediately got on camera, started flashing the fat wad of cash, and had a Bentley. You remember that? Saw Netter. He got he didn't get a big chunk of his money, but he got he got some money out of it because I think he bought bought the black bins. Allegedly, but I, I, how am I supposed to know? Yeah, he but, took the but, camera. He took the camera to the car lot right after that. Came it on trial and talks about should I get this family family. Family, should I get this? What y'all think, family? Yeah. Not the van. A Benz. Right? Not, not the van, a Benz. Not so, the news van. Not the news van. <laughs> that he cussed out people for not supporting. So he put the money right back in the European's pocket. Now look, that's fine. I ain't watching the man's pockets. What I'm saying is, one day, I was on Israel Doctrine, Carl Israel Doctrine's channel, watching and all of a sudden this man called rabbi harry rosenberg was in a trailer with saw better and israel doctor said we wasn't supposed to see that and and i found it odd that, you know we don't israelites and moors we don't use the word black because we know what that means but i'm going to say the word black so that everyone knows what i'm talking about absolutely absolutely what is a white Jewish rabbi doing in a event supposed to be for us, by us? What 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 is he doing there? And why was he in a trailer? You know, you know the movies, you know when you shoot a movie, they have the trailers, you know. That's that's what Saw Metter and Harry Rosenberg came out. And then, if you remember, another younger Rosenberg named Jeffrey Rosenberg came on HOK. Mm -hmm. Then this and I, 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 like I said, I learned from you again. I want to ask you, I don't trying to interview you, but... Are you good, brother? Come on, brother. This is good. This is good. This, I, I think it may have been you. Did, did you say, because the strange white European comes on my channel. He knows all of us. Bro, this is what I said. This is what I said. It's very odd that you have European to come on your channel and he not only does he know each and every one of you by name, he says it comfortably and accurately. See, that's a difference. When you know body language and you know how people articulate themselves, whether it's from the hood or from the corporate boardroom or just in passing casually, you can tell if someone is comfortable in their articulation of how they pronounce things. And they were speaking in matter-of-factly. How does that work? And when he did that, I was looking at my chat to see if they were picking up on it. And it was like, it went over a lot of people's heads. And I was like, I had to like stop him. Like, hey, y'all, like, this is deep. This is a dude. He, know, he knows, if he knows us, he knows you. Absolutely. And then and I'm not sure if it was you or someone. Someone said that that guy was also on the pause channel, on the yeah. panel. Listen, it's a guy. It's a guy. He was on House of Consciousness. And I remember when he first called in. You know, he, he would say, you know, yeah, I'm a white guy. And, you know, but I, I really like you. And da, 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 da. he called in a couple of times. Not much. But I caught. And, and amazingly, I don't watch side of that much. I can't muster it for long periods of time, you know what I'm saying? But amazingly, I caught it both times. And then he went on to Nepal recently. One of these guys went on to Nepal recently. I got it, I got it, I got it. He went on to Nepal recently. And the, the look, bro, the look, he's watching now. So let me show you your look. The look was, Basically, like, 
watching the chat. Real intensive. I mean, he, he had an intense look. And then when he would talk, he's watching. When he would talk, he would say, well, you know, huh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I, I think it's disgusting that this guy talking about me would show your pictures all over the internet, you know, and I, now I think you're beautiful. I would love to see them, but I have respect. <laughs> this is what he says. This is what he says. But I have respect for you. And um, yeah, I just think it's, I just think it's, I just think it's a terrible thing. And um, and he that's the only thing he would say. And then he would imply about her taking some sort of action, right? He would imply about her taking some sort of action. And then he would just sit there. She took the video down now, but he would just sit there. He wasn't making a contribution to the conversation. And in fact, I don't even see why would this conversation interest a European? Why would this interest a European? And why would you allow a European to come in to dialogue about this conversation. Now, I will open my line up for a European to give a comment. But the moment that the European starts saying, like, uh, uh, injecting and, and implying and da, 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 like, now, the way that you did it on your show. Now, sometimes I wish I could do it like that. <laughs> I can't do it like that. And if anybody ain't seen it, you got to go back and check it out. Uh, uh, Judah wasn't given an inch to move. Judah was bad. Judah had, <laughs> he had blood all over the screen. <laughs> intellectually, intellectually. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I, I won't go that hard. So the only thing I can do is allow you to ask a question. I'm going to answer. And then I got to get you out of here. But they were sitting, the, the one that was on the park, he was sitting there like this. Like he was a gatekeeper. He was sitting on that. Th Anybody seen that? Press seven if y'all seen that Nepal show. He was sitting there like a gatekeeper. He was watching right now. He's watching right now. You know what I mean? And, and many of them are watching right now. You know, uh, but the thing is, is that um, this is an in-house conversation about our people and our strive to get out of this condition. And I don't believe that the European Jew, European uh, 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 Englishmen, Frenchmen, they don't have a horse in a race. It has nothing to do with you being European per se, but it's not your issue. It's not your problem. And we can't use or need your contribution for the solution. That's it. It's not a racist thing. I don't mind your comment but don't need your contribution. And he would like this. Do you think, do you think, would you consider the idea that Nepal is not who she says she is and that this all could be a plotted move because there is an abundance. You know how she kept saying to the Lex and you was on the panel, oh, you got pictures of my, of my breasts. She didn't say breasts. And you want, the, you want to show them to everybody? There's more pictures than breasts out there. Way more. Yeah. Way more. And, and like the little Twitch video that you, that you had? Way more. I'm going to show it on Monday. I'm going to show five to six items on Monday. On Monday on TahakaBay.com, I'm going to show to the members on TahakaBay.com how extreme she goes. What I showed on the first one, we're going to turn it up a little bit. And so the point that I'm making is, are these bait are these bait pictures and videos? 
Have you ever seen that? Have you ever, have you ever, um, I was talking to a friend of mine and I was like, bro, do you know that the United States used to use Russian sex workers to turn agents and Russian sex workers was working for Russia to sex Americans to give information? And I said, now, I don't know if this the case, but with the flood of all of this uh, 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 sexual, these sexual items, I don't think we can rule out the idea that these things were, could have been intentionally put in certain hands and flooded through the internet with the intentions of causing confusion or something as simple like this, Judah, to take down some, some fool, put it on their YouTube channel that is progressively waking up people and teaching people. And even it could be something as simple as a corporate espionage to take down channels. It could be something as simple as that, or it could be something that is extreme to be filtering information from groups or something like that. Brother, I'm going I'm to land it over to you, brother. Have you ever considered any of those things? Now that you brought it out, see, you know, I, I have like a, a certain, you know, because I know her, like personally, my perspective is different. Where other people may not necessarily speak with her all like that, y'all's perspective is different. So now I got to look at it through, from y'all's perspective, and it's like, dang, these dudes got a point. Because I'm looking at it like, well, this is my friend, you know, or whatever. Whereas y'all are like, well, I know of her, but I'm watching her moves. And now I got to consider, sit, step back and consider, yo, like, these dudes have a valid, valid point. Not one point, points, plural. Because what we were led to believe that this is some virtuous woman that was celibate for almost a decade was you know this that and the other but then there was like like you you know i'm telling you this there's certain things that you you bring out and i started to reflect you know what do they say hindsight i said sit back and and in, uh in hindsight and i'm looking at certain things like i'll give you an example israelite women well, we're all Israelites, right? No matter what religion or whatever, but we're, you know, I'll say nationality. The women who are practicing the faith, just like our Muslim sisters, I'm not saying, because she always likes to use the term, well, we're not supposed to, you guys just want us in a beekeeper suit. No, it's called modesty. You don't have to show your skin to be beautiful. You don't have to show your skin, you don't have to show your, 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 your produce to be elegant. You don't have to do that. And I keep telling her that. I'm like, sister, stop showing your chi-chis. Put some, stop. Oh, you're a misogynist. You, you, you're a misogynist. You, you, you hate women. And I'm like, what? well, I've been married to my wife for almost like 15 years. You know, Japanese women, they cover up. If a Japanese woman was walk around with her chi-chis out in skin, she's ashamed to her family, to the community. And, and frankly speaking, this is the way we were too. 50s, 60s, started getting a little turned up in the 70s, but you remember our, our sisters, look at them old pictures of our mothers as and grandmothers. They was covered. They, they wasn't they wasn't dressed up in burkas, but they were they were modest, you know, elegant, beautiful sisters. Modest. But this woman would always has to try to promote her chest. And so I'm like, wait a minute, this is not the way. Israelite women carry themselves. So the sister likes to, well, okay, let me take that back. The woman likes, because I don't know. I, I, I don't know if this is a sister. Right. I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to talk about her kids. I'm just going to say that my kids are, are, are so-called black, Latino, and Japanese. If you've seen them, you'll be like, those look like so-called Negro kids. Their hair might be a little straighter, but there's no... I'm not gonna talk about. I'm not gonna. Talk, I'm not gonna mention her. I'm not gonna do that, right? Right. Okay. Now I saw some other family members. They're white. 
they're married to Europeans, that's fine. Right? You know, whatever, go do do you. I'm married to a Japanese woman. I don't promote quote unquote race mixing. This is just my wife. You know, like like I'm not trying to promote that. That's just this just who I want to marry. Whatever, right? But um then y'all know I have a another I have a sister, chill on me. Y'all saw her on the panel. Anyway, this is the point. Um to answer your question, her moves are real weird like like and then she has a certain way of like avoiding things so to the point where i used to get a migraine dealing with her i'm like yo and these are agent moves because the, the woman's not stupid by any means she's not stupid she has an agenda and you know again she she was she's been through you know don't get me wrong we've all been through different schools of thought when you're trying to like find quote unquote the, the school of thought that you find the most comfortable that's going to bring out the best in you, you might try out, see what, whatever. But she's hopping from this to that, to this to this, to this, to this to that. And I, then I was being naive, foolish, and I was like, well, I, 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 she's just being ambitious. But then I'm hearing all this stuff coming out, and I'm like, and then they're getting quiet. They're getting un unusually quiet. Like, they were on the offense, if you remember that. So, they were, they, you know, now, and, and remember, I, I shouldn't be listening to gossip because people can hear people say things about, you know, when you're a public figure like we are, you got, it come, you got to take the good and the bad. You're going to have haters that's going to accuse you of this. You're going to have supporters. So I'm hearing accusations against you about this, that, and the other. I'm sure you don't heard things about me that, that she done said, uh, June Nazareth uh, hates black women. Uh, but she's not even so-called black. I, um, I, I beat women with a bat. I I I I I assault women with bats, and I I I I I, I eat. I'm Ashburgers, and uh, I beat my wife mercilessly with a bat. Yeah, so I'll say it for you, Judah. <laughs> I, I mean, but there's other. I mean, it's not even just us. There's other people too. There's, there's brother Lex, like Vortex, is supposedly have HIV, and um, uh, you know, um, what is it? Um. Uh, his mother, I mean, his mother, so his mother, Lex mother supposed to be dropped him because she was on crack and oh my goodness, they went in on his mother, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they went in did, did, you, did you hear some there on my platform when he was getting on Lex's father? <laughs> I don't know, I'm like, father? I, yeah. yeah. I would never I know how it is over here. We don't, you know, you don't we don't use vulgar language over here. If y'all <laughs> for y'all who don't know. I'm going to keep it very PG. He's, he, Lex Vortex's father is deceased. Son that came on, was calling them all types of vulgar names, and implied that his father is buried face down and Satan is having his way with him. And people are just like, what in the... And then Nepal comes in and talks about, Yo, your mother's dead. And we're just like, what? this is like, wait a minute. Wait, this is not... This is this is vulgar. Like, there's listen. We argue. Me and Tarka Bay. We used to go at it like, but we never got to Come on, the point where people are like, where we're just like, where people are like making a stink face. Like, what? What? What are you saying? We, we never got like that because we know better. <laughs> our, That's our, crazy our to up. me. That was crazy to me. And then, and then when she flipped as Gunsmoke said, she's going to say you virtually sexually assaulted her. She making up these terms. She makes up these terms to, to trigger emotions, uh, 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 cyber rape and uh, virtually rape and uh, making up these crazy terms as if that's going to cause me, you, and anybody else who choose to show the hypocrisy that she represents to shut up. That ain't going to help you. That's not going to help you. Cyber rape. He he's cyber raping me. How do you please give me an explanation or a definition or something? What that is? These people are crazy. That she she told me one time. You know she don't didn't necessarily deal with so called black men. Yep. First and foremost, the 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 ex husband in question. <laughs> we don't know what dude is like. First is Puerto Rican, and then he's a Mexican. I personally think he was an Edomite, uh, a European, right? right? Personally, because the kid, never mind, right? And the way she is, 
I, I've had white girlfriends before. I know how white girls are. You know what I'm saying? And she acts like Karen. Yeah. Or, or Becky. It's just what it is. I ain't being a racist. We we have we have white girls in our in our, our uh, group with we were married to brothers. And even they're like, hey, you know, like, oh, sorry, my wife over here making noise. Um hey, I, uh I don't know if that is necessarily a so-called black woman because of her hatred for the sisters. I'm talking like some hatred. And you've seen, I have receipts. I have my iPad where where various sisters throughout the community, she takes their pictures, compares them to animals, calls I put, them I black. Po I post one up today on Tahagabay.com. And oh, oh, with that being said, bro, um, the malicious stuff that she said about Cynthia, though, the malicious stuff that she's, and let me say this, let me say this, and I've always said this, and I and people got on me for this because I've always said that I like Miss Cynthia and I respect Miss Cynthia. The reason why I say that, bro, is because if anybody has been watching and they seen Sinetta say that my wife, Cynthia, says, Sai, you looking real raggedy out here. Sai, you looking crazy. Anybody ever see that one? That's what that, that he gave that little thing in the car. And that is Miss Cynthia. Miss Cynthia is genuinely a nice lady. She's genuinely wants the best for everybody. You know what I mean? This is fact. You know what I mean? I met her in person many times. She gen and I mean, in the midst, one time I walked in their event because Sinetta invited me to his private parts talking stupid on the on on yeah, you know what I mean? Something D, all that old dumb stuff. I walked up in one of his events, the Unity thing, and Miss Cynthia was at the door collecting tickets, and I'd like Miss Cynthia, I ain't paying nothing. Now we're gonna deal with this today. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like to underscore it on the line, but yeah, walked up in there just like that with over 200 some people up in there. Yeah, we're gonna deal with this today, you know. And Miss Cynthia just as calm and as royalty as ever. After he brought his two henchmen, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still ain't going nowhere. And what? If we go outside, me and you go outside and walk in this alley real quick. You know what I'm saying? But after it was all over said and done, she still walked up to me and said, Brother Tahaka, y'all got to get past this. Y'all supposed to be teaching people. And this was the only reason I've always given Sinetta a pass. It's because of Miss Cynthia. Even the last time he put Miss Cynthia on the phone and Miss Cynthia said, I thought y'all supposed to be done with this. I said, Miss Cynthia, every time I turn around, this fool is always trying to jump out the window and create some confusion for, for a view or something. I don't know. I said, but I said, Miss Cynthia, this I said to her, I said, Miss Cynthia, I said, as long as you don't say nothing about me or the Moors, I don't matter. I don't matter if you challenge the information, but dirt ball disrespect, we not doing that. He don't got nothing to worry about. This fool went live that evening. Me and Tahaka Bay talk, we cool. We pieced it up. That's my guy with that. Everybody like, man, y'all was just going there with you. I said, man, did I say that? Oh, man, Miss Cynthia. Yeah, he back. He, he sold out for Miss Cynthia. I'm, I had to take all of this. I had to take all of this. I sold out because I chose to say, you don't say nothing about me. I don't say nothing about you. A week later, he bring on Michi X and he tried to engage Michi X to, to sue me. <laughs> yeah, we need to start suing people for slander. And we got to make an example. Uh, like the guy to Hawker Bay, you know, I'm like, man, you just put your wife on the phone to try to send an olive branch. At that point, bro, I knew that this guy was 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 the devil beyond repair. Because you don't just use your wife. You know what I'm saying? You are the devil beyond repair because his wife is genuinely a good woman and she got good energy about herself. And the same thing I heard uh, uh, Solomon say. He said he he said she got on the phone with him one day and Solomon said, Yes, ma'am. 
I'm not going to disrespect the man wife. And he just went with it. Sinetta used that against him. So he would even use his wife to calm people down, to manipulate a situation, to, so you can put your guard down, and then he strike again. And this is why I say uh, Sinetta, is, he must be done with. Uh, not saying he's going to be off the internet, but he will not be able to gain support. He will gain some spectators. That's it. But uh, I give a shout out to Miss Cynthia uh, because she is a peacemaker and she does mean well. But now here come the Paul. And I don't even want to repeat it, bro. But it was something that you said where she. What did she describe Miss Cynthia as? And we need to say it, brother. I mean, I'll just say B. I'm not going to. Yeah, not to be, but I'm just saying she said oh, something about a fat fat ugly fat ugly B. Unacceptable. And, and and you know what's crazy is is so you know that some that are in the pot, if if they are a couple, maybe this is an act, I don't know. This might be theater, who knows? But it, it, it seems sometimes like some that are if you ask me, does Southerner really love her? In my opinion, he might. But it seems sometimes that he doesn't because sometimes Nepal used to call me and be like, me and my wife, she'd be like, Southerner's making me debate this other B, Nathalie, about this blah, 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 blah. And I don't want to do it, but he's making me do it. And blah, 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 you know, so forth and so on. And she would complain about how he's not financially helping her. And, and uh, 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 Cynthia... <laughs> Tell it all. <laughs> I mean, this, this is just what it is. My wife will, will, you know, she'll tell you like, yeah, she's, you know, we, we didn't, we don't like to get in people's marital affairs. So we would just kind of like, listen, but we wouldn't offer no advice. We were just like, oh, well, you know, but, you know, oh, Sonator wants me off the internet and, you know, this, that, and the other. And his wife, she's always blaming me and saying that I'm starting problems and I'm in the middle of stuff, which isn't, it was correct about that because she's always in the middle of some mess. And, um, so one day, we're on Facebook video chatting, and and I had I was under oath. I couldn't tell nobody. My wife told it first. Now I can tell it, right? Because because she was like, you know, because and every time I talk to her, she's always like, "Are you?" There's like so much stuff to Harker. I'm sure you know about it better than I do because you know that that sector over there. You you met them, these people, absolutely. Like, you know. They they had this thing with. Let me. Uh, I ain't trying to hop around. Look. So she's like, um. She, she, she's like, this this fat, ugly bee, and then drops a picture in my uh, thing. And just like the rest of the sisters, she she drops pictures and makes fun of them, whatever, right? And then she's like, Judah, isn't she a, a, a fat, ugly bee? And I'm like, no comment, because I don't talk about, talk about people's wives, right? And and I know how they, I'm not going to do it anyways, but not just second off, they record people. They'll set you up. They'll get you, ask you a question, and you'll be on record. Not what they said, which you said. So I'm like, I don't talk, you know, like no comment. I don't talk about, talk about people's wives. Like, I don't even know Cynthia, so like, what are we talking about? And, um, you know, this son letter, he hears about it, and he is, and, and, and you know he believes it, because the next day when he was on her on her thing, he came to my my channel, and that's when he started talking about um, Lex Vortex to avoid, remember, the, the name of the show was Nepal calls son letter's wife a fat, ugly bee. When they came over, Sonetta was trying to avoid that. I was like, hey, well, let's talk about that. Nepal, did, N Nepal came on twice. And to show you how sociopathic Nepal is, my wife took away her wrench because Nepal had a wrench, a moderator. After all of this, me airing Nepal out and my wife airing Nepal out, Nepal says, Judah, give me my wrench back. 